there are a few air coolers out there that simply shine both in terms of price and performance. The Xilens XC061-M705D seems to be one of them. Currently it retails for about 35 to 40 US dollars, but it's mainly available in Europe for 36 to 40 euros. This not only is a quite modern and elegant looking cooler, doesn't just come with a single, but two fans included, however, does not feature any lighting, something that I don't care too much about. The M705D certainly delivers in terms of performance, but at the same time is about to harvest lots of criticism from me. What those pros and cons are, you'll find out in today's video. There comes a good amount of stuff included, namely the heatsink itself, the two 120mm fans, all the mounting hardware and screws, a manual, four fan clips for a total of two fans, a bit of thermal paste, and a Y-splitter fan cable. First of all, I have to praise the heatsink's fairly decent build quality. The whole heatsink is nicely coated in black, comes equipped with five heat pipes with a diameter of six millimeters each, and we're dealing with a direct contact copper base here. The top cover sure does impress aesthetically, appears sleek and clean, but believe it or not, this is actually a plastic cover that just looks like aluminum at first glance. Nice job there. The fans on the other hand scream a little less quality, but still don't appear to be complete other garbage. They do come with rubber pads to at least eliminate any annoying vibration noise. Apparently they've gone with a hydro bearing here, even though on the Xilens website it clearly says FDB in the specifications. I assume it's a hydro bearing. As already mentioned, you can't expect any kind of lighting on here. No RGB or the simplest form of illumination going on. Although as a matter of fact, I kinda dig these sleek black air coolers. But at the end of the day, that's simply a matter of preference. And at a price point of 35 to 40 dollars, one shouldn't have the highest of expectations. All the recent CPU sockets are being supported. That needless to say, also includes LJ1700 by Intel, as well as AM4 by AMD which to be exact in theory would mean that AM5 is going to be supported too, if AMD's claims can be trusted. Apparently AM4 coolers are supposed to retain their compatibility with the AM5 socket. There are only a few installation steps required for the Xilens M705D and they're super simple. Although I will have to clearly point out that the heatsink is kept fairly traditional and old school, it's basically symmetrical, meaning that there's a huge disadvantage of possibly covering up one of the memory slots, causing clearance issues. There's a simple fix or workaround for it by simply moving up that one fan slightly, but that wouldn't look very nice to put it mildly. If you're just populating two RAM slots, you obviously won't be running into any clearance issues. So all that's missing now are the temperature results and a few harsh words about the noise levels. As always, I'll be cooling my toasty AMD Ryzen 7 3800X. As far as cooling performance is concerned, at max fan speed, the Xilens M705D slash XC061 truly delivers. It actually does shockingly well and in my case even manages to compete with a Noctua NHD15, that is when having to cool a Ryzen 7 3800X. That however is only achieved at an incomparably higher noise level. And to be fair, it also needs to be said that certain CPUs simply aren't being cooled the same way by specific CPU coolers. It appears to me that today's Xilens air cooler mostly has been optimized for Ryzen. Similarly priced air coolers, or at least ones that differ minimally in terms of pricing, do come with just a single fan though, understandably perform a bit worse. But even with these two fans, Xilens does put some pressure onto a few competing models. You do have to pay a price in noise levels though, 
it's a high-priced pay actually. I cannot put it any other way than to state the obvious, these fans at their max fan speed are to be considered as simply annoying and unpleasant with their high frequency buzzing. Don't get me wrong, these fans are capable of doing their job quietly, but it requires some adjustments by the user, which isn't uncommon to be fair. By adjusting the fan speed accordingly, this would at the same time of course mean you'll have to sacrifice a bit of performance. So I see two noteworthy drawbacks with the Xilens M705D slash XC061. For one, that would be the high noise level at max fan speed, as well as the symmetrical heatsink design that can cause memory clearance issues if you need all four slots to be populated. Other than that though, that CPU cooler performs remarkably well given its price, which is why I can actually recommend picking it up. Xilens along with Arctic are known for offering us consumers more sleek and simpler hardware. They often do score when it comes to price to performance ratios, however. That strategy does seem to work in my humble opinion. So with the right adjustments made, the Xilens M705D is a truly great air cooler at a budget. With that being said, thanks a lot for watching guys and until the next video.